Hey guys and welcome back to the first of many to come of my newly established tutorial series. And so in this series I will be basically explaining how to do a basic build order or how to execute a certain strategy against an opponent. And so I should right off the bat say that I'm not a Terran player and so I'm not too familiar with this build but I'm well versed enough to hopefully explain it to people who are in possibly the gold or silver league or below that. So this is not meant to be a platinum level tutorial or anything like that. If you're in platinum level, you're probably best off not watching this because you've probably already established this build and you already know how to do it. So this video is going to be explaining how to do the Terran 111 build and how to execute it. The 111 build stands for Fast Barracks into Factory into Starport. And so you can already guess by that, it means you need to get a lot of gas early on. So this build order, what is it strong against? It's strong against Protoss, also pretty good against Zerg. But if you're going against Protoss, you get that Starport for the sole reason of getting out Ravens. Uh, you want to get that initial Raven because it can help you against Dark Templar rushes. It can help you kill the Observer. And getting out that starport does mean you can transition into fast Vikings if you need to deal with Void Rays. So the 111 build is very good against Protoss, and this is actually going to be a Terran versus Protoss in this specific matchup. So I'll be showing you guys the 111 variant against Protoss. Now you guys can see I am getting that extractor, or I should call it refinery, down right after the first barracks, and I'll be following that up with a second refinery relatively soon. You do need a lot of gas in order to fund this build because it's so gas intensive rushing up to that starport. Now this build is weak against a couple of things. It's weak against a four gate um, because it's weak against any kind of a gateway rush because you're basically spending all this time teching up. And so it's important to scout, it's important to know exactly what your opponent is doing. And uh, luckily for me, my opponent is not very good. Um, and it's good because I'm not a Terran player, but I, like I said, I figured this is going to be a very good, very uh, good basic introduction to uh, certain build orders and strategies. Because you know what, I figure StarCraft 2 beta is about to come out, or StarCraft 2 is about to go retail, and I think you guys would appreciate learning some uh, good strategies and learning how to play or execute a certain build. So you guys can see the reason why I stole, I stole that refinery, just a little bit of a preference, because I saw my opponent getting a fast cybernetics core. Uh, it could be a potential four gate rush or some kind of gateway rush, so I want to delay that by stealing this uh, refinery or stealing this geyser and delaying the gas as much as possible. Of course, I'm going to halt that so I can uh, cancel that later on. And of course, with your first 100 gas, after your barracks, um, you do get two refineries, you throw down that factory right away. And what I like to do is have a slight variant to this one-on-one. -on -one. I like to throw out a reactor on the uh, barracks uh, right away so I can swap the factory onto the barracks and pump out some Hellions and try to do some harass. That should be enough to keep my opponent at bay so that I can fully get up to my starport technology. Is under attack. So there we do have the, uh, what is it called, the reactor coming down on the barracks right now. My factory is on the way and then quickly going up to a starport. Now my reactor was a little bit late on the barracks, but uh, as soon as it's done, I am going to swap it with the factory and then pump out Ace some Hellions. Is under attack. You guys can actually notice my refinery is getting attacked, but I have not canceled it thus far. And I think I might have just forgotten about it at this point. And so, uh, yeah, unfortunately not a Terran player at heart, but uh, I am getting those Hellions out, which is a nice variant to the 111 because you can do some harass, like I said. Also getting that Starport, and what I did with the Barracks is I lifted it off and planted it to build a Tech Lab. Why did I do this? I did this so that I can get the Starport to have a Tech Lab right away as soon as possible instead of having to wait. So I'm going to swap the uh, barracks and the starport right now and I can immediately pump out my raven right away. And then I'm going to use my barracks and build another tech lab because after the 111 build it's always wise to have a transition and really the best transition against Protoss is transitioning to mech. So after this 111 you need to throw down some more factories but before you do that you do need to get another command center. And so as you guys can see, after that starport was done, getting my command center with the next 400 minerals. 
Now, what what should normally happen is I'm able to do some Hellion Harass and burn away, but my opponent has decided to get some cannons on his ramp. And so, you guys can see my opponent, not the best, but that's okay. It means he's not going to have uh, as much of an attack force as he could have. So, I'm going to quickly transition into more factories, throwing down two more. And then, I'm going to start pumping out as much factory or tank units as possible. There's the Raven. And, of course, if I was better with Terran at executing this build, I would have had that barracks on that reactor backwards, uh, back on it much sooner. Because you need Marines. You need a lot of Marines for this build to be safe early on, and I really don't have that many. So uh, after you get that tech lab on the barracks, you really do need to pump out as many Marines as possible. Now you guys can see with this first Raven, you can be a little bold with it. You can go around and harass, you can throw down that uh, auto turret, and you can also use